In this video, we will study the following problem. A cart of mass 100 grams is connected by a string over a pulley to a hanging mass of 50 grams. The cart feels a low friction with a coefficient of 0 0.1. What is the acceleration of the cart? The ideas that we will need to solve this problem are Newton's second law, the idea of tension and how that works on a rope, and we will need the idea of friction. Since we have a Newton's second law problem, we will need to draw free body diagrams for both objects in this problem. We will start out by drawing the free body diagram for mass 1. If we look at mass 1, we can identify at least one force straight off. There will be a force of tension pulling along the direction of the rope. Also, we recognize that in all cases we're going to have a force of gravity acting on uh, all objects that points downward. Similarly, there will be a normal force pointing in the upward direction. And in this case, we know that there's going to be a force of friction resisting that motion of the cart. Next, we will draw the free body diagram for mass 2. In this case, looking at mass 2, we can recognize that the force of tension will be pulling in the upward direction. And as before, we will have the force of gravity pulling down. After drawing the free body diagram, we need to write down the equations of a Newton's second law. Those equations are, as always, the sum of all forces is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the object. In this case, I have made sure to draw arrows over the force and the acceleration because we have directional motion that is different for mass 1 and mass 2. In the case of mass 1, I have to write down the components of this equation. So the x components first, I have in the positive direction the force of tension minus the force of friction is going to be equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration in the x direction. In the y direction, I'm going to write down that I have positive, the normal force, minus the force of gravity is going to be equal to m1 times the acceleration in the y direction. Luckily, because this uh, cart will not be moving up or down in the y direction, the acceleration is going to be zero. For mass m2, I only have a y component to worry about. So starting off, I have in the positive direction, the force due to tension minus the force due to gravity is equal to m2 times the acceleration in the y direction. Unlike in the case of mass 1, here the object will start accelerating downward in the y direction. Now we need to use some concepts, specifically the concept of tension, to help us uh, equate a few of these variables. First, we will notice that the force of tension, the magnitude of tension in the x component for mass 1 and in the y component for mass 2 must be the same. Second, because this string keeps the distance between M1 and M2 the same, uh, the, the length of the string, string stays the same, then not only must their positions be related, but their velocities and furthermore their accelerations must be related as well. What that's going to say is that the acceleration in the x direction and the negative acceleration in the y direction must be the same. I'm going to write that down as AX is going to be equal to minus AY is going to be equal to simply A. Recopying these two equations and making the substitution that the force due to friction is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force, we're going to rewrite these two equations. So we have force due to tension minus mu sub K times the normal force is equal to mass 1 times the acceleration, and the y component gives us the force due to tension 
minus, I'll replace gravity in this case with m2 times g is equal to minus mass of the second uh, body, m2, times the acceleration. The minus here came from that relationship right there. Finally, I will use the underlined equation here to solve for the normal force for mass 1. And I will replace gravity with m1g. And I will plug that in to the previous equation that we found. I am now done with the physics of this problem. I have two expressions underlined there that have two unknowns. The force due to tension and the acceleration of the objects. I can at this point use whatever mathematical tricks I would like in order to solve for the acceleration. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to solve for the force of tension in one of them, plug it into the other one, and solve for acceleration. Doing that, we find that the force due to tension is minus m or is positive m2g minus m2 times the acceleration. Plugging that in to this equation gives us that equation. We need to move acceleration, which we have here and here, to the same side of the equation in order to factor it out. We're going to factor out that equation. and we're going to solve for A. At this point, all that remains is to plug in the values that we have for the problem, which are mass of 100 grams for M1, mass of 50 grams for M2, and uh, 0 0.1 for the coefficient of friction. Writing those in, we have 0 0.05 kilograms, that's what 50 grams is in terms of kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared, minus 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 kilograms, times 9.8 meters per second squared divided by 0 0.1 kilograms plus 0 0.05 kilograms. Quickly looking at units, we see that we have kilograms on top and kilograms on bottom that cancel out, which will leave us with units of meters per second squared, which is what we like. Evaluating the problem, this gives us a, an acceleration of 2.61 meters per second squared. So finally, interpreting this answer in terms of what we have before, we have in the following situation where we have a 100 gram cart that's connected over a pulley to a hanging mass and there's a small 0 0.1 coefficient of friction between the cart and the table, the system will accelerate at 2.6 meters per second squared.